Yo, what's good? Yugi2 vs. Greatest New T-Bird 325 and coming at you with a deck profile once again. This time it's going to be a scrap deck that I've been working on. Uh, actually, I had deck together. I just had to take out the proxy so I can actually make the video. So now, without further ado, uh, shout outs. Uh, Holy Cheetos, Jihopper85, Ion Miley, Miley, VCT, RFS, FGX3, Team Deck Records, The Rest of Team Truth, um, and I'll get some more shout outs later on. Okay, without further ado, we're going to get into the deck list. Alright, it's going to be the basics cards. Three scrap goblins. Hopefully, you can see that. Three scrap beast. Three chimeras. Two refrigerator men. Because you never know what you're going to need to bring back. Uh, your level 4 tuner going to uh, twin. Your level 3 tuner to go into dragon. Yeah. Little spin here. Two quick draw synchrons. The reason I play quick draw synchron is because uh, drill warrior keep recycling stuff. And they basically recycle each other. Two cyber dragons. Like I said, when you're going with um, Scrap Twin, I believe Atomic Scrap can actually be crap. Oh, here we go. He is a level 10, which means I could sacrifice, I could special summon him, sacrifice him for Refrigerator Man. Refrigerator Man will bring back this sucker. Then maybe our monster reborn a level one. Never know. Okay, so that being said, next up, bring out is two Rikos. Rikos right here, they are the surprise of the deck because, well, first of all, they're beasts. Kill anything on the field, dump off three cards, and hopefully they'll knock off some scrap monsters instead of my magic and traps, which will really suck if they do. Sangin, he will grab me Raiko, quick draw, Ma mainly I want him for quick draw and, and the goblins, that's basically what I want him for, these two monsters, I mean if, if push comes to shove then I'll grab a Raiko, hopefully they won't know that I actually have that set though, for utility purposes, dump off a dead magic card in the hand, Bring out a level four beast, instant scrap dragon right there. Tech card, level eater. I like level eater because if I have that on the field, that on the field, I can eat one of their levels from the graveyard, bring them back, and now we can. Well, sorry about that. Wrong one. If I have him on the field, or I can eat a level off a of Cyber Dragon, making him level 4. Sink these for uh, Atomic Scrap. And then once Atomic Scrap hits the field, I can level eat again off of that. So, endless. Um, as far as the level eating goes, as, as long as they got levels, I can keep eating away. Magic cards. Three crap Scrap Yards. Three storms. Thinking about maybe probably probably putting in two, but I think it's probably going to be um, worth it if I do that. Keeping three for right now. Two enemy controllers. Enemy controllers because I I'm not going to be playing very many traps, and the traps I do is going to be taken away. You know, because normally I would main my ceasefire, my uh, cylinders. Bottomless trap holes, compulsories, but I'm not playing those in this deck. So two enemy controllers. MST back row hate just one because you, once you get Scrap Dragon, he's going to be popping back cards anyway before they even go for the attack. Uh, Monster Reborn. That's going to be basically utility. Every deck has that. Dark hole, kill off monsters. Book of Moon, place a monster face down or use it as. Uh, anti synchro material pot of average so I can recycle all the monsters back into the deck 
so I can draw two cards. Most likely, if I go synchro crazy, I can put the synchros back in there if I feel like I'm running out of them. Trap cards. Two Dark Coffin. You're probably thinking, what the hell? Well, I'm, re I'm using Dark Coffin because if I bring out Scrap Dragon, this is face down, that's face down. Use Scrap Dragon's effect, pop this card, pop my opponent's back my card. This does this activates in the graveyard. Okay? So then they have to choose an effect which they can fulfill. Either knock off a monster on the side of the field or dump a, a random card from the hand. Most likely, uh, they're probably gonna dump a card from the hand because if they choose their only monster on the field, I'm going swinging for get, uh, for a direct attack. Uh, secondly, so that's two dark coffins. Two world decrees. Main two decrees, side a third. Just in case they're playing heavy, uh, heavy on the traps. So roll decrees. Let uh, you know, set these two here. Pop one of these. Pop one of their bad cards. Kill it. You know, then this effect goes off. You can knock a monster off or knock off a card. So, like I said, these roll decrees are gonna stop stuff. Uh, Torrential tribute. You're probably thinking, okay, what's the point if you're playing roll decree? Well. Roll Decree is not always going to be in my hand and I'm not going to be able to always use it. So I'm going to need something to stop floods from happening. As you can see in the, in the flood waters. Uh, call the Haunted just in case uh, I actually need that or I can just you know, do crazy things. Uh, like call the Haunted. If they try to crow something I can call it back in response. And Tyrant's Temper. Uh, I can use that just in case um, I don't want my opponent to use mirror force on my monsters or bottomless trap holes on all the monsters I'm going to go synchro crazy with or just normal summoning a uh, chimera. So uh, that's what I'm going to use Tyrant's Temper. Uh, as far as the synchro deck, it's just going to be you know your regular scraps, Archfiend, Dragons, Twins, Atomic. Um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I have spaces for everything out here, which is mean that Stardust, um, what's his name, Red Dragon is probably going to come in, Brionic. Um, I'm pretty sure I can I can go into uh, Barkeon and Beast, so I'm probably going to put them in there too, just, just for, uh, for lasting giggles, just because a lot of these things are Earth, if not all of them. So, I'm liking this build. Tell me what you think of it. Um, it's just my own build. Uh, I use weird cards to throw in there. You're probably thinking, yeah, I don't know about the dandelion. I mean, not the dandelion, the quick draw in there. But I'm just going to test it out and see how it does at, at the local tournament this weekend. So hopefully I'll, I'll beat everybody with it. I just have to find out and a, a really good side deck because uh, uh, the people who always win, since I'm always judging, they're always playing like these hard decks to beat. So uh, Smorge is one of them. So if I can get rid of this Smorge, I think I'd be happy about that. So. On the next video. Until then, it has been the greatest noob, and I'm out.